congruence of triangles. In this module, you learn about the congruence of triangles and the four criteria for two triangles to be congruent to each other. Two triangles are congruent when you can superimpose one triangle on top of the other. Two triangles are congruent when the corresponding sides and angles are equal. Note that for triangles to be congruent, the corresponding parts should be congruent. The corresponding line segments should be equal in length and the corresponding angles should have equal measurements. The side AB corresponds to PQ, BC corresponds to QR and AC corresponds to PR. Similarly, angle A corresponds to angle P, angle B corresponds to angle Q and angle C corresponds to angle R. In other words, the corresponding line segments are equal in length. Similarly, the corresponding angles have equal measure. You have to be careful when comparing corresponding parts of triangles. Here, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR, but triangle ACB is not congruent to triangle PQR. Here are six possible conditions to determine the congruence of two triangles. Out of these six conditions, three are sufficient to determine that two triangles are congruent. These are called the criteria for two triangles to be congruent. We'll now examine these criteria for the congruence of triangles. SSS or side 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 criterion. If three sides of one triangle are equal to the corresponding three sides of the other triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Triangles may remain in any position in the plane. SAS or side angle side criterion. If two sides and the included angle of one triangle are equal to the corresponding two sides and the corresponding angle of the other triangle, then the triangles are said to be congruent. ASA or angle side angle criterion. If two angles and the included side of one triangle are equal to two corresponding angles and the included side of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. RHS or right angle hypotenuse side criterion. If in two right triangles the hypotenuse on one side of one triangle are equal to the hypotenuse and the corresponding side of the other triangle, then the triangles are congruent. In this module you have learned if three sides of one triangle are equal to the corresponding three sides of the other triangle, then the triangles are congruent by SSS criterion. If two sides and the included angle of one triangle are equal to the corresponding two sides and the corresponding angle of the other triangle, then the triangles are congruent by SAS criterion. If two angles and the included side of one triangle are equal to two corresponding angles and the included side of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent by ASA criterion. If in two right triangles the hypotenuse and one side of one triangle are equal to the hypotenuse and the corresponding side of the other triangle, then the triangles are congruent by the RHS criterion. <laughs> 